Hey everyone, Paul and Tasha Scale Modeler. So today I've got a review of the Hardesteen Beck Infinity Airbrush. Uh, it's a 0.2 needle one. Uh, as a lot of you know, I'm a massive fan of Hardesteen Beck uh, airbrushes, owning two evolutions for a number of years now. I can't recommend them highly enough. They're superbly made, superb quality, and just airbrush beautifully. They really do. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. I know a lot of you have bought them off the back of my uh, comments and use some or have you but you really can't beat them for the money at all now this is the infinity this is Hardesteen Beck's top end airbrush uh, it's a 0.2 needle one and this was uh, I got this from Martin at air-craft.net uh, fantastic online shop for all your airbrushing needs uh, I've been using them for a year, about three years now I think I bought my first evolution from them uh, cannot fault the service whatsoever I've never had anything but top grade service Fast delivery, good prices, the lot, absolutely superb. So like I say, it's a 0.2 needle one. If we open the box up, I'll show you what we get in there. So you get the normal box cover, instructions, which I'll run through very, very quickly. So you've got basic uses, uh, an overview, so correct use of how to use it, all different languages. Um, running through function, so how to actually use a double action uh, to more of the advanced features, which I'll go through in a little bit. Uh, then it runs through basic use, how to get a fine line, broad line, loops, spray spots, etc. Uh, cleaning, gives you a quick overview of cleaning. Uh, maintenance, troubleshooting, which is always handy if you're new to airbrushing and you're not sure what's going on. Um, and again, all the way through to the guarantee at the back. So, not the biggest of um, instruction books. And there's an exploded diagram as well, I forgot about that. So, but you know, basic use of an airbrush is just that, it's basic use. Skills of using it you'll pick up over time. And you know, I've got videos out there on the ISM channel of using airbrushes, cleaning them and what have you. So you can have a look at those, pick up your basic skills. But the instruction box there, you get a nice a black case. Where I try and not blind you with the light. Inside you get your infinity airbrush, your colour cup lid and a little baggie with a couple of parts in. So what I'll do, we'll open everything up and we'll put the airbrush together so in the bag you get your fine line needle nozzle pinch tip as you can see there and I'll show that in use in a minute you also get this little tool which is used for taking the airbrush apart again I'll show you that in a minute like I said you get your colour cup uh, lid which I've just put a fingerprint on uh, which is always handy my evolution hasn't got one and if you watch me airbrushing, you'll see me spilling paint all the time. So this is great to get that now. And obviously the airbrush itself. So I'll put the case to one side. Right, so out of the box, it's a stunning looking airbrush. Um, these are now the CR Plus, which is this, this is, is chrome plated, not nickel like the older ones. They are triple coated, so the inside is uh, copper and then nickel coated. And the exterior is done in a high gloss chrome finish. Uh, I think you can agree, it's a stunning looking airbrush, uh, absolutely beautiful work of art, it really is. So, out of the packet you get a needle cover, which you don't get the, uh, in the Evolution, but you did not mine anyway. So that literally pops off and exposes the needle, which you need to be very, very careful of, and then put your fine line needle cover on. Now the beauty of this, as to the older one, which is just a round... Uh, end that you can't get to the needle is while you're spraying if you're going to build up a paint on the tip of the needle you can get a tissue and literally pinch it and wipe it off so that's the idea behind that um, like I say triple coated so you've got the inners are all coated the exterior is chrome plated now the reason the chrome plating is better a lot of people well not a lot of people some people have an aversion to nickel and can have an allergic reaction to it but the main reason to change it if I get my old venerable evolution if you can see where my thumb has been there and the back of my hand, it's actually worn the nickel away where it sits in my hand. Uh, this airbrush is about three years old. Uh, this back part is narrow. This is about a year and a half old because this was added. Uh, and you can see where it's worn away the nickel. Now that shouldn't happen on the chrome because chrome plating is a lot harder wear on the nickel and it doesn't react to uh, you know skin, sweat wear as much so you've got it you're off to a good start from there straight away with something that should last a lot longer um now i bought my evolution if i quickly run through this um like i say three years ago it didn't have the pinch tip it didn't have the quick adjust needle chuck on the back it didn't have the solvent seals inside it didn't have the uh quick release and 
it didn't have the triple seal inside which it still doesn't have now on this one you get the pinch tip as standard you get the chrome plated standard as well you get the triple seal inside so where on my evolution is a single seal inside this has got three. They're all solvent proof, so you can put cellulose, paint in there, alkalides, anything you want. You get the quick release as standard. You get the quick adjust needle stop on the back. So basically what this does, where you've got full action there, you can press that and turn this, and that restricts how far back the needle goes. You can quickly pull it out, and you're back to where you go. So you push it in, and you can literally do it so you're spraying a fine line. And what it does, it doesn't allow the needle to go any further back. So that's a real nice touch. It really does help when you're spraying fine line, uh, you know, lines or pre-shading and what have you. Like I say, you get the quick release as standard. I upgraded this from the 2mm to the 5mm colour cup. Because like I say, if you've watched me paint, and I spill paint out of mine all the time. So I thought I need a larger colour cup. And Martin at Aircraft.net very kindly upgraded that for free for me. Thank you, Martin. That was superb. Uh, the other difference is um, you get the obviously the exposed side on this, so you can undo your needle. Like I've done it up too tight, there we go. Like so, so you can undo the needle to get the needle out the front without having taken the back off, which is very handy. And obviously tighten it back up. And there's also this. Now this is the trigger lever adjustment. So you can tighten it up and it makes it harder to pull, or you can undo it and it makes it easier to pull. Now that's a real nice touch that the Evolution doesn't have. Uh, and I found it very handy in setting the airbrush up just how I want it. Um, I found it a lot more useful having it slightly lighter because it gives greater control on the airbrush. So that's a real nice touch. I, I do like that a lot. Now, the tool I showed you before, which was this little thing, because you haven't got the larger body of the Evolution to get hold of to undo the uh, actual barrel section of the centre section, use this little tool, so you just pop that little tool in one of those holes, turn it and undo it that way, so that's what that's for. So again a nice little touch, like I say it's a lot more attractive airbrush, uh, you've got all your solvent proof seals in there so you can spray everything through that no problem at all, you've got the colour cup lid so you can spill paint, you've got the lever pressure adjust on the back so you can fully set it up to how you want it and you've got the needles quick stop on the back as well. Now. I was reluctant to get one of these for quite some time, um, purely and simply because I didn't think I'd notice a difference over the Evolution. Now you can buy the standard Evolution like this but without the quick stop on the back or without the pinch tip. Uh, I think it does get a quick release now and they're about £95. To add all these extras probably adds about another £50 on top. This out of the box is 164 and obviously you get more features on this that you can't add to this like the the lever adjust on the back, uh, it's a nice looking airbrush for a start and you get the, I think it's a more functional uh, needle stop on the back as well. Uh, now you can buy a CR Plus Evolution now which does come with a pinch tip, the quick release, it doesn't have this on the back still, the uh, needle stop, but it is triple chrome plated, uh, sorry triple plated with the chrome as well and it does have the three needle seal inside and they're about £124. Now, by the time you add this on the back, as this is a £20 part, you're at 145 So there's £20 difference in between the airbrush, which for that £20, I think you get a better looking airbrush. It's a little bit lighter, about 10 grams lighter than this, and that is noticeable in the hand. And obviously you get this lever adjust on the back as well. Um, and I found, like I said, I wasn't too sure about getting this because I didn't get notice the difference. This feels so much slicker than this it is unreal i really didn't think i'd notice the difference but well, picking it up this just feels a much slicker bit of kit to use and i mean i know this is an old airbrush this is three years old all the ends are brand new i replace them when they get worn uh, and that needle set in there is probably in a month old everything else is maintained it's lubed cleaned regularly so it's not because it's an older brush this just feels so much slicker out the box um, it's a much nicer airbrush to use um, it really is, I can feel the difference massively, so really glad I did get it. Now one problem I did have when I got it, the way I airbrush is normally like this, but every now and then my hand will creep here. Now because of the cut out on the side I found I was catching on the back of the needle chuck, so what I did, and this is the other beauty, you can adjust this, turn it, and that stops that problem. So if anybody is having that problem, just give it a little bit more of a turn, there's no ring there, plenty of adjustment, and it stops your finger interfering with this then. So there we go. So like I say, it's a penny short of £165 for the Infinity. 
Uh, by the time like, you add all the options to this, you're looking at about the 100 and £140 mark and like you say you can buy a uh, CR Plus Evolution for about the £125 mark but by the time you add this on the back you're still not up to the same standard, this is out of the box uh, with the added features, the looks and I think it's a slicker slicker feeling airbrush out of the box so that's it really, so that's the overview of the airbrush, I think it's absolutely superb it's a beautiful looking piece of kit, it really is um, and that's it, and like I say I got this from aircraft.net Check them out, go and have a look. Um, well worth a look for all your airbrushing needs. So what I'll do, I'll pop over to the uh, spray booth and we'll give this a quick go over and see how she sprays. Okay, so I'm over in the spray booth. Um, I'm not going to put the booth on because it'll drown out and I'm only spraying a little bit. I'm only spraying on the towel. So we'll leave it off so it makes it a bit clearer for you guys. Connect it up to my airline. The pressure's at about 25 psi as always. And I've got a bit of Mr. Hobby uh, FS Grey just to show you how she sprays. So what we're going to do... I'm going to add a 50-50 mix of paint and UMP thinner. Pop that there. And what we'll do, we'll just run through basic overview of spraying, fine lines, showing what you can do. So we'll give that a good mix up. So like I say, it's a 50-50 mix, nothing special. Just to give a quick overview of spray, we'll pop our colour cup lid on. So, as always, pull it through. So, the Infinity, you've got the 0.2mm needle set, which I don't think you need anything different in. Uh, my old Evolution had the 2-in-1 set, which you get the 0.2 and the 0.4 needle. Uh, I never ever used a 0.4 needle at all, not once. Um, whether you will or not, if you're spraying a lot larger things, larger models, maybe you will. But the largest things I spray are 132 aircraft, and I think this is more than adequate in a 0.2 needle. Um, so, like I say, you've got a larger spray pattern like so. But you know, that'll quickly cover any aircraft or model quite easily. The my compressors come on now. Or you can go right down to a nice fine line like that. And if you go real nice and slow and careful. You can get a really, really nice fine line I like that. Like I say, you get the multitude of choices there. You can either do medium, large, small to pencil thin lines. So it really does give you a great multitude of um, you know diversity that you can use the airbrush for, from covering large areas, um, camo lines, pre-shading, right down to real fine touch-ups. And again, not just lines, but you can do little dots. You can do a large dot, medium, to a real small one. So a lot of uh, versatility in the airbrush. I used this recently to pre-shade, not pre-shade, to post shade, uh, fade uh, my Tammy 16, sorry 132F16, and it worked absolutely superb. I was using this non-stop for about four and a half hours doing that, and it was just an absolute joy to use. Uh, with this ne needle, sorry, this lever adjuster on the back, you can really you know tighten it up or really loosen it depending on what you need to do. With the likes of post shading, you, you need you know good control on the lines to allow it back in. And then for the fading, you need little dots and dabs here and there. Like so, figure eights. So it really does give you the real versatility you like need. Like I say, if you want to go for the 0.4 needle set, by all means do. If you're going to be spraying anything bigger than, you know, if you're going to be spraying ships or large vehicles, 116 vehicles, then it will come in handy. But like I say, the 0.2 needle, it will cover well. You know, I could probably thin this paint a bit more and get a little bit more of a wider pattern but you'd very you'd soon cover a plane or car with that quite easy and like I say with those real nice fine lines you've got real versatility there as well so you've got the needle stop on the back which is what we showed you before so as it is now you've got a full I show you full spray back which gives you the full pressure press that button then it restricts the flow we adjust it to where we want it as you can see So that is the needle fully back. Because we've got the stop, it will only give us a certain amount of 
paint. As you can see, you can widen them if you want. Gradually as you go, getting it thicker and thicker. Or you can go down. To the real fine point. Like I say, so if you're not, you know, if you haven't got the greatest airbrush control, you're quite new to it, or have you, that's a very useful feature. I do use it from time to time, but without, you know, sounding like I'm blowing my own trumpet, I am quite good with an airbrush. So I only use it from time to time. Most of the time, I use my own control to get those nice thin lines. But like I say, it shows you the versatility of the airbrush and just how well it can spray. Uh, I'm just going to play a little bit of Norton Crosses. Uh, and it, it shows you just how well the airbrush will work. Allowing you to do a multitude of things, and I didn't win there, playing against myself, and I still didn't win. Uh, but never mind. Uh, and like I say, that's a useful feature. If you're not too, you know, uh, confident in your airbrush, and pop that on, set it to the width you want. You can adjust it down. Keep going until you get the width you want. So you know if you need to appreciate and that's a great touch because you know you're never gonna spray anything wider than that in line there. So it's a nice touch, like I say. Uh, is it worth getting over the evolution? Uh, a month ago I would have said probably not. Now I'll say definitely. Uh, in fact, I I am well thinking of getting rid of my other evolution and buying another infinity. Uh, as you know. I oh, like separate airbrushes for separate things. This is my acrylic airbrush. I used to have a separate evolution for uh, Vallejo Model Air um, because they react to certain cleaners and what have you. Not ours, not the OMP, but cellulose and what have you, so you can't put hourglass through it. I got rid of my Vallejo Model Air, so I got rid of the airbrush I use for that. Um, so my evolution now gets used for hourglass, and I've got my Airwater Neo, which is used for clear coats. So I am well thinking of getting rid of that revolution and buying another one of these because it is that good. I am well impressed with it. If you're thinking of getting one, don't think about it. Go and get one. You will not regret it. Uh, regret it. Regret it. Uh, you won't regret it at all. Absolutely stunning. And the control you can get off this is just absolutely superb. So there we go. There's my review of the Harder Steenbeck Infinity. Uh, like I say, go and have a look at air-craft.net. Um, speak to Martin. Uh, that's where I got mine from. Cracking guy, cracking website, and he'll serve you proud. So, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.